Hello everyone. Today I am going to read The Mitten. The author and the illustrator is Jan Brett. She wrote the words and she drew the pictures. Now I know that we're all getting excited because it's starting to feel a little bit like summertime, but this is a really great story even though it takes place in the winter. I'm sure you've read it before in your classroom. Again, this is called The Mitten. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens and finally Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm in just the right size. So he decided to stay. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Looks like that mitten is getting pretty full. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left. But when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Like, Come on in. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size, but Baba's good knitting held fast. Along came a metal mouse no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable 
on top of the great bear's notes. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah-choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. On his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was his lost mitten, silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound. And then she saw that he still had his new mittens. There's Baba looking. She looks a little confused, like why is this mitten all stretched out? What happened? The end. So in this story, there are a lot of different characters. There's a lot of different animals and some different people that the book is about. I want you to think about a character from the story. Here's our objective. Students will be able to write and draw a character from the mitten. So the things you're doing are writing and drawing. What are you writing and drawing? A character from the mitten. That's what you're doing. You can pick any character. I will hold up the book again. Those are all the animals that went in the mitten. And then don't forget that we also had two characters that were people that the story had. I chose to write and draw about the mouse. And I wrote, a character is the mouse. And I drew the mouse going up to the little mitten. And I didn't draw the other animals because I am pretending like they're all hiding inside the mitten. And I started with an uppercase letter and I used finger spaces and I ended with a period with an end mark. I can't wait to see your drawings of a character. If you want an added challenge, you could add something that that character did. Like I could have said, the mouse made the bear sneeze. Because in the book that I read, you could always go back for every character that they talk about. They talk about something that that character has, like the rabbit came by and it says that he had big kickers or big feet. So you could add another detail about the character if you want a challenge. Okay, I'll see you all later.